back to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Lots of great stuff to share with you today. So let's jump right in with a minute with the principal. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. I know you're all expecting to see Mr. Keller, but you're in luck. You don't have to watch him read from the teleprompter today. Instead, you've got me. I'm Mr. Bishop, the principal over at the high school, and I am pumped to have the opportunity to say a few words here on HMS today. I want to start with some worthy shout outs to some really amazing middle schoolers. First up, congrats to the 8th grade Destination Imagination team on winning first place at the regional competition last weekend and will go on to represent Hopkinton at the D1 State Championship on April 1st at WPI. Also, congrats to the middle school Robo Hillers. Love that name. The Robo Hillers are made up of almost 20 kids in total and are both the 1715A and 1715B teams qualified for nationals in Kentucky in May, so congrats. The HMS band, chorus, and orchestra broke like a hundred legs earlier this week as they dominated their music in our school's performance. Now, as for upcoming events worth checking out, next Thursday night at the Hopkinton Cultural Arts Center, the building on the other side of the high school, is holding an honors art exhibit featuring many of our talented HHS artists, so come check it out. Also, good luck to all spring sport athletes and middle school coaches as you get ready to start your spring season. And to the 8th grade, the class of 2021, I'm looking forward to welcoming you all over to the high school last period on Thursday, March 30th in our auditorium to discuss the scheduling process for next year. And we'll also get the opportunity to meet your parents that night for 8th grade parent night. I'm not the only one excited to meet you all. In fact, a few of our Unite mentors at the high school have something they want to say to you. Welcome class of 2021! Hey guys, your future at HHS is bright, like this lighting. <laughs> So again, 8th grade, see you next week. Now I know all this talk about next year, and even the summer for that matter, seems so far away with this weather, but it'll be here before you know it. And I know you just started your third and final trimester this past Tuesday, so I urge you to finish strong. Like Coach Belichick said at City Hall Plaza after the Super Bowl parade, no days off. I hear such great things about the students of the middle school from Mr. Keller, Ms. Grady, and Ms. Bimbenek, so I can't wait to meet you all. So to wrap up my cameo appearance here on HMS today, I encourage you all to continue to work hard, treat your teachers and parents with respect, be kind to one another, and do something nice for someone to brighten their day. Okay, that's it for me. Until next time, go Hillers. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, let's spend a minute with the Green Machine, the HMS club working to save the world. Some things we talk about is trying to let people know about ways they can recycle, including the white textile bin. We talk about issues in our environment and how to improve on them. We are currently working on an upcoming shoe drive. And we also recycle all the blue bins in every classroom. How many is that? A lot. All right, time to visit Mr. Rockwood for our Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today, I have a few helpers. In 1909, Abraham Lincoln was the first historical figure to grace a U.S. coin when he was portrayed on the penny to commemorate his 100th birthday. The Lincoln penny was also the first U.S. coin to include the words, In God We Trust. Pennies are made of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. There have been 11 different patterns on the penny. The U.S. Mint produces over 13 billion pennies per year. Now that you know about pennies, donate some. Once again, Community is putting on pe their Pennies for Patients fundraiser. Donate your spare change to the small white box in the front of your class. Your change goes to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society to support cancer research. If your class raises the most, you will be re rewarded with an Olive Garden lunch. Help community and help others. Now we bring you a question of the day. Today we asked, who has been an important person in your life? I gotta say my coaches, because they really inspire me. Alex Morgan! Grandmother, because she do the best pierogies. Probably my mom, because every time I get stuck on something, she's always there to help me. Taylor Kniff. My friends. Me, because I'm special to myself. Sienna and Jasmine, and also Catherine Moore. Shout out to you, Kat. Our favorite person is Mrs. Economo. And Miss Daniel. My brother, because he always cheers me up and he's funny. My best friend, Chloe Chella. My family, because they're my family, even though they are many people, not one person. 
my mom because she's always been there for me when I'm sick or when I'm sad. Mrs. Noble has been a really important person in my life because she's always really happy and positive and she reminds me to be the same. Our final segment is an announcement about an upcoming spring service fundraiser. Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm Jake. I'm David. I'm Henry. And from March 27th to April 7th, we are holding a fundraiser for Cradles to Crowns at Hopkins Middle School as well as Hopkins School for, as spring service for Project 351. Cradles to Crayons is a nonprofit organization that collects gently used and new clothes for children who need them. We, we have placed collection bins outside the office to hold the donations that are received and we encourage you to drop off some clothes that you might not use. We are looking for gently used and new clothes sizes newborn through adult medium, as well as pajamas, underwear, and socks, which must be brand new. Thank you and we hope that you will help to support this cause. Thank you. Thanks. That's a great cause. Coming up next is the birthday scroll. Here it is. Happy birthday. Finally, it's time for the Have You Seen This. Last week's photo was from the outside of the library door. This week's winners are Jake Cherko and Kate Sheffius. Congratulations. Come visit the HMS TV studio next Wednesday after school to claim your prize. And HMS TV is donating five pairs of socks to Cradles to Crayons for each of you. Thanks for playing Have You Seen This. Now, here's today's image. You have until next Wednesday to find it. And send us an email. On behalf of everyone here, now get out there and study hard.